For this problem, we told, we're told that we have a highway that has a free flow speed of 60 miles per hour and a jam density of 140 vehicles per mile. For this particular highway, we're asked to determine the speed and density when the flow is 1,000 vehicles per hour. We're going to start with looking at speed versus density. The three components we have are speed, flow, and density. This linear relationship between speed and density is what primarily defines the Greenshields model, and it's important for the calculations that we use for these types of problems. So we're told that we have our free flow speed of 60 miles per hour and our jam density of 140 vehicles per mile, and we have a linear relationship between these two points. We can find our maximum flow, Q max, which is equal to our jam density times our free flow speed divided by four. So this is 140 vehicles per mile multiplied by 60 miles per hour divided by four, gives us a maximum flow of 2,100 vehicles per hour. Now we can look at flow versus density, and we have this parabolic relationship between the flow and the density. Plugging in the values that we know, we have our, our jam density of 140 vehicles per mile. We calculated in the previous step the maximum flow of 2,100 vehicles per hour. And we're asked for the point where we have 1,000 vehicles per hour, and we want to know the density at that flow rate. We should see now on this parabolic shape that we're going to have two places where this occurs, both oversaturated conditions and then the undersaturated condition, condition, so under and over capacity, essentially. We're going to use our equation where the flow is equal to our free flow speed times the density at the point minus the density that we're looking for squared over the jam density. So plugging in the values we know, 1,000 vehicles per hour equals 60 miles per hour times k minus k squared over 140 vehicles per mile. Rearranging this, we're going to end up with negative k squared plus 140k minus 2,333.33. We're going to have two values for this because we have that quadratic. So k where the flow is 1,000 and the speed is 60 is equal to 19.338 and 120.662 vehicles per mile. And that we can see this also on our diagram here, drawing down from our 1,000 vehicles per hour. We have the 19.3 vehicles per mile in our undercapacity situation and then overcapacity we're at the 120.7 vehicles per mile. So this is what it looks like on our diagram or graph of flow versus density. And finally, we can look at speed versus flow. We've got the same parabolic shape, but it's, it's on its side now. We know that speed is equal to flow over density. So that's U equals Q over K. So, in our first situation where our, we're looking for our speed, we had our flow of 1,000 vehicles per hour and our density of 19.338 vehicles per mile, and that's going to give us a speed of 51.71 miles per hour. In our second scenario where we had our density of 120.662 vehicles per mile, we're going to solve for the speed at this point, which is 1,000 vehicles per hour divided by 120.662 vehicles per mile gives us a speed of 8.29 miles per hour. So at that maximum, we have that, then that maximum flow Q cap of 2,100 vehicles per hour. We had our free flow speed of 60 miles per hour. And we're looking for when the flow is 1,000 vehicles per hour. And so we both have that in the oversaturated and undersaturated or over or under capacity. And at the over capacity scenario, where again we have 1,000 vehicles per hour, we have a speed of 8.29 miles per hour. And that again is when the density is at 120.662 vehicles per mile. 
In our under capacity scenario, we're gonna have a speed of 51.71 miles per hour. That's still at the same flow rate of 1,000 vehicles per hour, but that occurs when the density is much lower, just at 19.338 vehicles per mile.